What's up, guys? I want to say Happy Thanksgiving, even though technically it's not Thanksgiving. It's still Thanksgiving for me because I haven't gone to sleep yet because my schedule's all fucked up because that's just who I am. But anyway, technically it's Friday, quarter after one, November 24th. Uh, I'm trying to smoke cigars, trying to review cigars, and every one that I do, I opt to not do it as I'm uploading this video. So I'm going to try again. I'm going to do now the Oliva V 135th. Prior to this cigar, I wanted to do the Amazon Basin Extra in Yeho. I, I took it out of the cellophane. I smelled the wrapper on it. Just a very bold, just like cinnamon stick, like aroma. And I was like, this is going to be better for Christmas. So I put it back. So then I grabbed the Nashton VSG. Uh, I picked it up. Uh, this is a different Vitola that I haven't had. I picked it up at one of the lounges at King Corona when the Cigar Bear guys were here visiting. Uh... Still over humidified. It's still at 71%. So couldn't smoke that. It's about to grab some $50 God of Fire. But uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm just going to be disappointed with it. So I want to smoke something that I know I'm going to enjoy. I uh, So anyway, again, Oliva V, 135th. These are pretty readily available. Very affordable for, uh, I guess, what they are or something. I don't know. They seem to be like exclusive, but I see them everywhere, so it's they're not hard to get your hands on. But anyway, um, yeah, this is going to be like the second or third time I smoke this cigar. I think actually my brother bought one of these in Jersey and sent me down when I smoked it, and then I bought a box uh, from Cigar Samplers somewhere in the $80 range. Beautiful box. I should have brought the box out, but maybe I'll grab it. It's not really a big deal, but very beautiful box. Band is nice and loose. Um, I pre-punch these when I store them. So humidity gets real heavy in the heads here. I mean, you just look, I mean, it's shaped like a baseball bat, you know? Like, so these bands are actually nice and loose, uh, whereas before they were not. They were kind of tight around there. So humidity has dropped the knees. It's flowed through. Let's do our humidity reading, and uh, if we can, can we get it in there? Yeah, see this band is whoop, dropping right off. Very nice. Mm. Now, uh, very good draw. Flawless draw, actually. Wrapper smells very good. Mm. I think I'm smelling cinnamon on my fingers from the Añejo. A little bit of cinnamon on this one, too. Not as bold. Uh, we're not doing humidity readings because I'm not actually going to cut this. I'm going to keep it punched just as it is, and I'm not poking into it. It's It'll be fine. It's been stored in 65%, uh, pre-punched 65% for months. So let's just get it going. Yeah, this is the first time I smoked one after pre-punching and leaving because when I smoked them, I think the first one my brother sent me, I smoked it. That might have been a little dried out, and it was okay. Then I got them from Cigar Samplers, and, uh, you know, the humidity was okay, but I smoked it, and it just felt like it was a little tight. So I ended up pre-punching all of the caps, and... Maybe it's coincidental or not, but man, this thing is drawn absolutely flawlessly. Oh, I'm running, I'm running a little low on butane. I am curious how this is going to... You know, I smoked these before. I thought they were good. Not outstanding. Just good. You know what I mean? And I wonder after just letting them acclimate and have that humidity flow through if it'll really change the difference. Because I'm not really a big fan of the Vs. They're, they're okay. But, I mean, I don't understand all the hype behind the V. The Milanios, yes. But they're not Vs. They say V Milanio, but they're, they're not Vs. It's a completely different blend. Wow. 
Wow. Almost just full pepper blast. Smacks you right in the back of the skull. Tingles. Moves to your forehead. Very noticeable nutmeg as well. And some cedar already. Already coming in through the retrohale. That was a very, very brief retrohale too. Ooh, holy shit. Oh, fuck yeah. Couldn't finish it. Wow. Full, full fucking pepper scent. Holy shit. Eyes are watering. Lingering in the sinuses. Eyes watering. Smashing the back of the head and just whoosh, sensation. Tingle sensation. Almost like coming right to the eyeballs. Wow. That's really good. Nutmeg. Cinnamon. Pepper, uh, white pepper, very, very bold white pepper with cinnamon. The cinnamon's bold as shit, too. Whew. Fuck yeah. Oh, this is so good. I think this is the first time I smoked this with a punch cut, too. I don't normally do punch cuts. I did a punch once with, like, a... What was it? I think it was, like, one of the Java Mints or something like that. Like, a box press. Because, like, you're supposed to punch box press or so. I don't know. Shit I just kind of read, like, early on off the internet or some shit. But I don't really use a punch cut. But, uh, man, it's, it's proven fantastic on this. Spice is settling down, but we're still in that medium plus territory, but it, it's settling down. Uh, I would say if you smoke these, uh, I'm no pro at this or whatever like that, but I would definitely recommend the punch cut. I think the punch cut for this just particular Vitola, what is this Vitola called? I don't know. To me, it's just like baseball bat. Let's see. Uh, let's see, 135th, I'm searching my cigar scanner app, no cigar, what do you mean no cigar, hold on, Oliva, I wonder if I never put this in here, I should have, I smoked a lot of Olivas, Oliva, okay, on 135th, it says no cigars. Oliva Siri V, 135th Anniversario Edition Limitada, 5.5 by 54. I smoked this cigar. Last time I smoked this was April 22nd, 2023. Uh, Saying it's a perfecto. Alright. So, I uploaded this cigar to my Cigar Scanner app. I must have wrote a review on this cigar. Let's see if we're close. I really don't remember what this cigar was like the first time. I really don't. I just know, like, I, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was better than, like, the regular V's. Even though I think it's the same blend. Maybe just the toll has something to do with it. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, Four-star rating. Okay. So, basically a four-star rating. Like, overall. I mean, everything's four-star. Appearance got, like, five-star. Burn got four-star. So, draw four. Taste four. Okay. All right. I really enjoyed this cigar. Overall, great presentation and appearance. Beautiful box, if that matters to you. First third started off with an amazing pepper blast on the retro hail. Okay, it did. Second third mellowed out uh, with a slightly refined taste compared to the original Siri V. Yeah, I kind of do remember that. I remember like it's it's similar to the Siri V, but it's like 
you know, at that time when I say refined, I wonder if these are aged more and maybe if aging has something to do with it because it, it was reminiscent of a regular V, which is just, it was okay, they're good, and this was just kind of better than that. Uh, I did notice a very faint ammonia smell through the retrohale. It was very sensitive to ammonia. Again, these could have needed some aging. Uh, the final third had amazing saltiness to it. Oh, I don't remember that. Absolutely incredible. No noticeable pepper on the retrohale, but it did retain that faint odor of aroma, uh, ammonia. All right. RH values uh, were 30, uh, 63.1 in the foot, 66 in the head. Smoking environment at that time was 63% relative humidity, 78.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Those humidity readings are, are, are totally acceptable. I really want to, I know too, like that, that actually I have it right here because it's broken. I was using this for doing humidity readings and the prongs are much, let me put my phone down. Man, I'm just rambling the fuck on. That's okay though, because some of you guys asked for this. So that's what I'm doing. So anyway, I don't know if you could see, but the what is this cigar medics or something humidimeter cigar medics this is a fantastic meter um this one i mean it, it gave you decimal points but it it stopped i bought it on amazon it cost more than that one uh you know after reading the reviews after i bought it, it same issue you just you can prong it see i mean i could fit it I can actually fit it in this punch. So put that down. Should say zero. Yeah, zero. It just zeroes out. Just says zero. Doesn't work anymore. But it will give you the relative humidity and temperature of the environment once it goes off from zero. So, and you can't turn these off. There's no off button. Just either take the batteries out or leave them in. But anyway. I don't even know how accurate that thing was. It could be totally off. I have no idea. I know that the relative humidity and the temperature on this is off. If I set this in my humidors, uh, it's, I just can't remember if it was higher or lower, but it was off. But I, di I didn't care. As long as the prong part seemed right, and as long as it was uh, kind of like a ratio between the head and the foot. You don't want the head too much more than the foot. This would be like your exception, but even those numbers weren't that far off. Because I would definitely think the foot would be much drier on this versus the head, given the shape. And this is why I pre-punch the cigar, so that the humidity can flow out through it. Because there's going to be a lot of humidity in this thicker part of the cigar as it tapers down to the foot. So this foot would dry out way faster than the head would, unless you pre-clip them or whatever. So I opted to punch them. <laughs> Fantastic smoke output. Still getting some spice through the retrohale. It's a combination of still pepper and cinnamon. A little bit of nutmeg still in there and some cedar. It must be like this taper design. We're getting a little more heat in this smaller, you know, this is kind of like a smoking smaller ring gauge cigar. You know what I mean? Like, like something that I prefer. You know, it's probably, God, what is that, like a 38 starting out? You know, so it's still bold, and it'll kind of smooth out as the ring gauge gets gets larger as you smoke down it. So it'll kind of mellow out a little bit. So I like that you get a, a little bit longer, you know, spice time with this initially, like in, in the first third. It's very good. Definitely 
one of my favorite of the Vs, uh, unless we're talking Millennials, which, like I said, even though they're called Serie V Milano, I don't consider them a Serie V because it's not the same blend. Uh, let's go over blend on this. Let's see. All right, what, what does Oliva say about this? The Oliva Serie V 105th Anniversario or Anniversary Edition Limitada is a celebratory cigar that pays tribute to the first tobacco crop that Oliva that the Oliva family planted in Cuba more than a century ago. This celebratory perfecto is comprised of a smooth, light brown Ecuadorian Sumatra seed wrapper expertly placed over a binder and filler made of premium Nicaraguan tobacco. Once lit, this beautifully crafted cigar offers a medium strength, full bodied smoking experience with delectable coffee and nutty notes accompanied by a light floral aroma along and a long earthy finish. I don't really like coffee and earth, but I don't really notice them in this. Uh, let's see. Oh, Charlie just messaged me. One second, Charlie. The Oliva Serie V 135th Anniversary Edition Limitada is handcrafted in Nicaragua. Only 15,000 boxes of 12 cigars per, per box were made, so order yours today. Uh, made what, every year? I mean, they keep releasing these, don't they? Uh, filler, Nicaraguan and Jalapa. Binder, Nicaraguan. We know what the wrapper is. 91 Cigar Aficionado Rating. 2-22-22. On February 22nd, 2022. It's my son's birthday. Getting sweet now. Sweet raisin through the retro hill. Tell you what, man, this thing doesn't like you to, to take your time with it. Had to uh, puff on it to get some smoke output there. All right. Okay. Give me a second. Let's do uh, no retro hail and then uh, pause it and come back. Fantastic smoke output. Very dense. Medium plus bodied. Creamy. Creamy oak. Subtle sweetness. Reminiscent of caramel. On the middle of the palate. Very bold creamy oak on the middle of the palate as well. No pepper on the back of the tongue. Nothing really noticeable on the tip of the tongue. Just a creamy, semi-sweet caramel and oak on the middle of the palate. Very good. This is very good. I think I want to... I got a bunch of V's and a bunch of different Vitolas. I think I'm going to revisit those. And uh, they've had some age to them. They've acclimated. Maybe they're going to be better than I initially remember them. And maybe now I can can understand like the hype that's behind this V because this V right now, this cigar is very good. I'm very happy with this cigar right now. One more retro hill. Man, it's still got some spice to it. Yeah, this thing does not like you to to take your time in between draws. Really got to pull on it to get that smoke output. So, very good. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, guys, 40 minutes in. Oliva B, 135th. Perfecto. This is a fantastic cigar. I mean, I'm I'm really enjoying it. It's nothing... I don't want to say it's that it doesn't knock your socks off, because, I mean, it doesn't, but it's... It's close, you know? It's just very good flavors, not a lot of complexity, fan-fucking-tastic smoke output. Like incredible like that's where this cigar shines is just quality control that oliva is just synonymously known for 
and it's just it's performing fantastically uh, also too now that the ring gauge is kind of opened up it's a little more forgiving if you take your time with this cigar you don't have to draw on it so constantly to kind of get it to re you know re-go or re-go what the fuck am i saying whatever to get it going i can just kind of slip this band you know what? let's just slip the band off we'll slip the band off I mean, that's fantastic. Very, very creamy oak and caramel on the palate. That's all I'm kind of getting. I've got nothing on the tip of the palate, and I have subtle, subtle pepper on the back of the tongue. Like, you really, really have to look for it. It's almost, it's pretty much non existent. Smidge of it's there. But just that oak and that caramel just tastes really good. Like it's, it just tastes really good on the palate. Uh, it lingers on the palate. And for me, sometimes when something will like dry out on the palate, it's not really drying. My palate is slightly salivating, so I don't, it's not requiring me to like drink a, drink a lot of fluid while I smoke this cigar. Um, it just, the aftertaste on the tongue is very enjoyable. I don't need to like cleanse the palate. So frequently, I should say. I'm gonna roll this off. Nothing crazy going on with the retro hill either. Just a, a, a sweet cedar at the front of the retro hill, followed by a sweet dark raisin. I know that we read somewhere and then there's like coffee and earth. I'm not detecting any of that and I am ecstatic about that because those are nuances that just don't appeal to me. So this cigar, even though it just like lacks complexity, it makes up for it in enjoyment. Like I'm really just enjoying this cigar. This cigar is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It tastes good. I'm decompressing. I'm just relaxing. It's, an, it's a fantastic experience, and that is where, like, I really appreciate, you know, what this cigar has to offer. So I would absolutely recommend this cigar. In fact, I said I bought this on Cigar, Scam, uh, cigar Samplers. Can't say the dot, whatever, but you can find it. Uh, right now, they got them on sale. Box of 12, $89.99, free shipping. Uh, not affiliated with Cigar Scam, Samplers. In fact, Jeff over there, fantastic guy. I... Order from him pretty regularly. Uh, last order I placed with him was a uh, Ferri Otego, uh, the the timeless Sterling in the Robusto. He had ten of them for forty five dollars. That is a steal for that cigar. Even though I prefer the Churchill Vitola, uh, forty five bucks ten cigars, four fifty a cigar. Can't beat it. Like I I bought them. I smoked two of them. They're fantastic. Uh, I also went and grabbed the box that they come in. So, beautiful box. Hold on. So, if you order them from Cigar Samplers, which again, I'm not plugging, I mean, I guess I'm plugging it, but I'm not affiliated with Cigar Samplers. Like I said, Jeff actually sent a sample pack uh, early on when I was doing his reviews. I reviewed that sample pack. I wasn't too impressed, and he hasn't sent any more. I'm okay with that. Like, I, I get it. But just because that happened doesn't mean I'm still not going to, like, support his company because I think he offers fantastic pricing and fantastic service. So here's the box. Comes with a, a very nice cedar pad. Note from Jeff. And then the cigar sitting here. This is removable. Mine came with a 69% Bovida pack in it. Uh... I don't know if that's normal, if that's something that Jeff does, but it had a 69% Bovida pack underneath it. If you guys, you know, have large um, humidors or wherever you store them, you can remove this if you don't want to store it with the box and lay the cigars in here and, and uh, plant it in your humidor. I think that's fucking really cool. So, let's see. What does it say? It says, John, 
Welcome and thank you for supporting my company. Please enjoy your 135th. I hope you return soon. Best Jeff owner, cigar samplers dot can't tell you. So, handwritten letter. Oh, on uh, on my invoice, I paid eighty five ninety nine for mine. So four dollars less than what they're going for today. Fantastic smoke output. Fantastic smoke output. That creamy oak and caramel is just building on the palate as this Vitola increases in ring gauge. It's just the lingering on the palate is, is fantastic. That did I say coca? I meant caramel. Sorry. I think I said coca. I don't know. It's caramel. That caramel and oak just sitting on the palate right now as I'm talking. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I want to say like it's almost like an underrated cigar, but it's not. I just, uh, I'm enjoying this cigar much more than I did before. I feel like maybe age has something to do with it. Maybe palate evolution has something to do with it. But this is definitely the best experience I've had with this cigar. Maybe pre-punching the cap had something to do with it. I don't know, but I'm going to continue to, to do it this way. Once I smoke through all of these and I buy another box, I'm going to pre-punch the caps and store them. Very bold, sweet cedar through the front of the retro hail. Sweet raisin on the back of the retro hail. It's very good, very good. I, I I think I just keep saying that. I really need to like look in a thesaurus and just kind of like pick a bigger vocabulary because it's either it's just my vocabulary is very limited when I review these cigars. But who gives a shit, right? You want to know what I'm tasting? This is what I'm tasting. You want to know if I'm enjoying it? I'm enjoying it. You want to know if I recommend it? I recommend it. Smoke this cigar. Yeah, it's so good. As much as I enjoy retrohaling cigars... And I usually enjoy the nuances to the retrohale more than I do what's on the palate. It's about dead even on this one. Like, again, I know I just keep saying the same shit over and over again. Even though, in my opinion, this cigar lacks complexity, I'm okay with it. That caramel and that oak is fan outstanding. It's outstanding. There we go. It's outstanding. Uh, you know... Retro hail, very good too. Fantastic. Outstanding. I don't know how many times I could say it. All right, guys. Let me smoke into this uh, final third. Hopefully I get that salt nuance that I experienced before. Uh, I think it'd be a fantastic way to finish this cigar out. So, all right, I'll be back. All right, guys. Popping back in. Uh, I was just looking online at this cigar again, and just to kind of go back to Jeff over at Cigar Samplers, where he had them for, what, $89.99. Uh, another place I buy most of my cigars from is Cigar Place. It's right here in Florida. I usually get them the next day. They have a box of 12. That's how they come. 120 bucks. So $30 savings if I go with Jeff. Yeah, he's in Pennsylvania, so if you're in that area, your shipping times are going to be much faster, but, you know, it takes three to five days for me to get them. $30 savings, I'm going to store them anyway, no brainer. So, definitely think Jeff has the best deal on them. And again, yes, I'm plugging Jeff, but I am not affiliated whatsoever. I am just passing on that bit of information that if you want to try this cigar and you want to buy a box... That's where you get the box. So if you can find it cheaper, let me know.
No salt yet. Creamy oak and caramel. That's it. It's very linear now, very consistent. No ammonia whatsoever. I'm very sensitive to ammonia. I'm not detecting any ammonia in this cigar. Clearly, they just need to rest and acclimate. Or, like I said, maybe just pre-punching the cap help that process along. Very bold cedar, sweet cedar, sweet raisin through the retro hill. It's very simple, but it's very, very fucking good. So, all right, guys, I'm going to keep smoking this, come back, wrap this review up. All right, guys, uh, hour and five minutes into this Oliva, 135th. We're getting salt. We're getting salt. I'm very happy. It's very good. It's 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 what a great finish to this cigar, especially for I love salt. So I've got this salty caramel oak, and it's almost reminiscent of uh, almost like pretzel. Like it just kind of like gets to that like sourdough nuance with when that salt's added, like a caramel salty pretzel. It's very good. This cigar is underrated in, in in my own opinion for me. You know what I mean? Like, I want to smoke this cigar again in the very near future. Normally when I'm like trying to find something to smoke, you know, I see them and I'm just like, eh, let me grab a Placencia or something or let me grab this or let me grab that. And I always pass these by. It's not going to happen anymore. I'm going to smoke through these probably pretty quickly and have to order a box. Saltiness on the tip of the tongue. It's kind of making its way towards the middle of the palate. And it mixes with that caramel and that oak. And as it like settles down, it just kind of... I don't know if it's just my brain making me want to think this way or something. But it, it that oak almost settles into like a sourdough. So I've got this salty sourdough caramel that's left on the palate. It tastes so fucking good. Still just a sweet cedar. Sweet cedar through the retro hill. Followed by a sweet dried raisin. That's about it. Fantastic cigar. Highly recommend it, obviously. Smoke one. If you smoked one, very curious what you what you think. If you decide to smoke one after watching this, again, I'm very curious what you think. So let me know. All right, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Um, probably see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's a little bit of a busy day for me. But uh, I might be able to get, get a review in. We'll see. All right, guys. If not, you'll see me soon. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.